AI or artificial intelligence has probably caused more worry about the application of technology in the future than any other use. Is it a threat? Is it an opportunity? Or is it just purely technology? Well, part of the problem comes down to identifying what actually is artificial intelligence. Many applications of technology these days use analysis of previous choices to select appropriate future ones. This can be predicting what you want to buy in the shops or what film you want to watch. Now, these examples show that systems are not as intelligent as you might think and they're prone to errors. In fact, it's by making mistakes and learning from those mistakes that technology demonstrates its apparent level of intelligence. Take a closer look at the shopping programs. These are very good at predicting standard weekly shopping such as cornflakes, milk, coffee, sugar. Those things a family might regularly use. Quickly learn from the household shopping and be able to reasonably predict their needs. But it runs into difficulties with something like, say, light bulbs, which are only ordered infrequently. The numbers vary depending upon many factors that the computer is completely unaware of. Likewise, it may be able to predict when a birthday cake is wanted, but not what type of cake is required as this will change over the years. And looking at film selection, here the artificial intelligence really runs into trouble. Firstly, it needs somebody to tell it the directors, the stars, the genres, etc. of all of the films. And it needs to compare those to the preferences of the viewer. Even with this information, the program fails to get an accurate prediction of the large proportion of the time mainly due to the number of variables and personal preferences of the individual that are completely beyond a computer's ability to know or even analyse. Even where to continue learning from its mistakes for several years, it still actually have quite a low accuracy level. So where does that leave us with artificial intelligence? Now it's likely in the future the computers will surpass the human brain in memory storage and processing power. However, even with the vast amount of computer processing power, AI needs a great deal of information on which to base its decisions. And then it needs to make a great number of mistakes and to be told when those mistakes have occurred so it can correct for errors and improve. But the problem is that in general it needs human input to tell it where it's made an error. You can learn basic skills like finding a route through a maze without the human input. However, to be, be able to talk, say, the identify the sex range of human faces with no facial hair. They need human input to tell them which initial samples are male and which are female. Once they've learned, they, they can actually become better at it than humans. And this is the key. All advanced intelligence is based upon human support and information to enable them to perfect a single task. Like humans, they need to learn from errors in order to improve. And the more complicated the task, the more errors they need to make in order to improve, be it chess, car navigation, language translation, computers can far surpass humans in an individual task. That doesn't make them superior to humans or a threat, until a computer can not only identify that it's made a mistake, but why a particular choice was a mistake, true artificial intelligence will be on it. And whilst computers can perfect a single task to a far greater degree than humans can, the ability to switch from one task to another, like having a computer which can beat you at a chess program, but also drive your car, they're not going to pose any kind of threat to us. Until then, it will just be another use of technology. However smart, it's not going to be able to adapt to a new situation that it actually hasn't been programmed for. So that's artificial intelligence identifying what's a threat, what's an opportunity, and what's technology.